I'm uh, um, super thankful for our students who showed up and uh, made an incredible environment. Uh, it was really funny to see Willie sitting on the floor reading the newspaper and the junior announcement. That's, I had the, their player introduction. That's the first time I saw that. And uh, that kind of kicked off the night. Um, man, South Dakota State's a really good basketball team. Um, they're going to win a whole bunch of games. And I, I personally was very concerned about this one. And uh, uh, I mean, they, they, they didn't disappoint. I was uh, really pleased. Uh, in the first half, I thought we played about 15 minutes the way we're capable of playing, minus the turnovers. I'm talking about the defensive end. And then in the second half, there was probably only about six to eight minutes. Uh, we decided to play the scoreboard and um, made a bunch of shots. Um, but there was a stretch there where they made eight out of 10 uh, shots, and we can't allow that. Um, we got to be better than that. And so um, very pleased. I know Cam had a career high, but I was more pleased with what he did on the defensive end because um, that, that, that young fellow Mayo was averaging 28 coming in and he's a heck of a player and some of it was you know he he missed some shots he normally made but a lot of it was Cam really being locked in on that. You mentioned uh, Cam's ability on defense, how great that was tonight. Could you also talk about his ability to facilitate? I felt like tonight he was able to pass the ball to his teammates pretty well tonight. Well, you know, the good thing for Cam is uh, as he's locked in on scoring and that's what we want him to do and I don't want him to think about like making plays and then the playmaking becomes easier because the, the guys who are open are like wide open and he's not like having to thread the needle or read a ball screen and stuff. And, and that's been the case since he is like really bought into just being in attack mode. Um, his assist to turnover ratio has been a lot better. You talked the last game about paint touches and I think your first eight points were in the paint. You got a lot of layups early. How how big was that just to open up the floor, do you think? Yeah, no, it, it was it was big. And uh, Will was a, a real presence. And the, the guys were attacking uh, the paint. I, I, I like the flip side of that is that we kept them out of the paint. And they're, they're really a paint dominant team with the two bigs that they play very, not, not too many teams play two bigs anymore. And they do, and they do a great job of it. And so our ability to keep them out of the paint was also something I was real pleased with. So Art didn't suit up. What's uh, his, uh, his knee was bothering him after the last game, and uh, we just felt like I, if you if you can't practice, you can't play. And so um, he was unable to practice, and so it was probably wiser for us to to let him rest. <clears throat> Day Day had his big night on Friday, and then RJ comes in and and lights it up. What what, what do you like about what he brings? Well, you know, we know R.J. Jones can shoot the basketball, right? He's, he's a bucket getter. And um, I, I was more impressed with the chase down block that saved the bucket um, and then the charge that he took. And we've worked really hard on him, you know, not getting bumped off the ball and just, just being, you know, tougher. In, in certain situations, and I thought like there was great growth there for him. And man, those two freshmen, like they, they was, I, I don't know if, if he was pressing in the first half because it was his first start, or you know, and then you know when when you have a big game as a freshman, uh, then you're on the scouting report, right? <laughs> and so people lock in on you. Now you gotta adjust to the scouting report and be able to play. And so I thought in the first half. Uh, Dady was a little loose playing off of one and playing with the ball in one hand. And uh, second half, he had no turnovers. I thought he did a really good job. Just going off of uh, Cam's defensive effort, I mean, they really it seemed like he really did lock down Mayo. What, 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 what kind of was the focus for him going into this game? No, I, I, I think we've, uh, you know, everybody's like talked about Cam being a weapon this year. And I've said it multiple times, but for us, we need him to be a weapon on both ends. I think he could be one of the best two-way guards in America. And, uh, and so we want him to not just focus on being a weapon on offense, but what he brings to us on the defensive end. And today he, he bought into that role. And, and I think, I, I mean, I see that in him moving forward. Is it time for you to 
watch Will on on offense when he gets down to the low block and does his uh, kind of old school moves? Yeah, <laughs> um, I don't know if I'd say it's fun. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I I appreciate the fact that we can have someone we can throw the ball to down there, and they're going to get a good shot. And um, you know, you know what's fun for me is watching Will set great screens and roll in and and then us giving them in touches and him like making multiple efforts on defense and you know uh, those are the things and like he's got so much growth right like I mean yesterday last game was his first start in two years today was his you know second start and maybe the most minutes he had played in a while since maybe an NCAA tournament game a couple of years ago and uh, the growth that he has he's got so much more in him and, and that, that's what's going to be fun for me to watch all of that come out because, I mean, he, he, he could be a really, really good player for us. He's a definite pivot player as well. Yeah, I mean, no, he's got good feet. He's got good feet. Sometimes he does too many moves. Like, I think he's big and strong enough to go put a shoulder in somebody's chest and go to his right-hand jump hook, and it's very soft. And, you know, so that, we want to make him more efficient with his moves. I wanted to ask, have you seen um, Tyler and Cam kind of feed off each other since they've been here? Do you think they're better players because they're teammates now? Um, yeah, I, I thought Day Day playing the point today early allowed TP to get some good looks and not be so focused on running the team and got him going. And then he had a pretty good um, assist night too, you know, five to two. And so I thought that helped. But I just like, you got to have weapons. Like, if, if Cam's rolling and TP's rolling, the floor spreads, and then it makes the game easy for everybody. And, and so, but those dudes work. Like, they're in the gym, and they're, they're, they're challenging each other every day to see who's going to make the most shots and, and put in the most work. And so, they're good for each other. Not to steer away from this win so quickly, but you play Providence in the Bahamas pretty soon. What do you think you'll see uh, once you get down there and play that competition? And I'm, I got to go finish packing, and then we're going to get on the bus. And But you know what we're going to do? We're gonna, right now we're going to celebrate this win because it is hard to win in college basketball. And I, I hadn't seen all the scores, but I'm pretty sure there was an upset tonight, right? And uh, I'm just thankful we're not with that team that's on, on the upset side of things. So we're going to celebrate, and then we're going to get to Providence uh, tomorrow. Yeah, Cam, 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 all, all great ones want to be challenged, you know, and uh, Cam could have had 30 tonight, right? But he got a little cute on a couple shots and, you know, and, and you know, they messed up a couple plays, you know, coming out of timeouts and, you know, so, so those are things that, I mean, you know, uh, all the great ones want to be challenged. And I think Cam can be like a really, really good basketball player, like, like really good. And, and so I, I want to stay on him with, we got a long way to go. And, and he embraces it. I was wondering if you could take me back really quickly to that initial conversation that you had with Cam uh, during this offseason, maybe when you said or suggested to him that he needed to be, you know, the, the score now, how that conversation went. Um, I think Cam seeing Marquise and Keontae leaving, um, gave him confidence. Like he looked around and said, okay, those guys are gone, now it's my turn. And that automatically made him a better player. And then he went in the gym and he worked really, really hard at it. And probably well, after we get, got back from Israel and we started practicing, um, he, he was trying to be too much of a facilitator. And I mean, it wasn't looking very good. And so I just told him, Cam, this is what we need from you. And if you will focus on this, and I told the team, like, if Cam drives and you're wide open, he doesn't throw it to you, don't be mad, right? He's gonna shoot the ball, cause I told him to, and you are gonna go rebound because you know Cam's not gonna throw the pass, okay? And when Cam was able to focus in on doing one thing, the rest of it became easier for him. And as you see, and it's, it's gonna continue and, um, but, he just wants to win, and that's that's the way he's going to help us win this year. There were a few times tonight that all three freshmen were on the court at the same time. What does that just say about the trust you have in them? 
Um, I, I, they're all three good players, and we try not to put all three of them out there together because the staff was telling me, like, hey, you know, all three freshmen out there. Um, time and score allowed for us to take some risks there. Um, but they're all three good players, and they're going to be really good basketball players. So um, I, I don't know that we necessarily went into it or t with that in mind, or even in the sub rotation that that's what we expect. But when somebody makes a defensive mistake and we got to take them out the game, that's just the next guy up. And so that that probably happened on accident a few times, and then they started playing well, so we just let it roll. Just. David Gasson, I think double digits rebounding again. Are you getting what you want from him in that respect? Yeah, you know, um, he's playing with energy um, and, you know, doing the things we like him to do. And, and he's playing with a smile on his face and giving other people energy. And um, as he stops worrying about whether he's going to make shots or not, I think the game's going to become a lot easier for him and he's going to be a better player for us. Behind the back. Oh, the, the pass, pass by. Yeah, yeah. He, Dave knows how to play. Like, he's got a good feel, right? And so that that's what we want him to do and not worry about whether a three-point shot goes in or not, you know? Anything else for Coach? Okay. Thank you, guys. See you guys in the Bahamas.